Evaporation is the process by which liquid molecules gain enough kinetic energy to escape the liquid state and become a gas molecule. Now condensation is the opposite. It's the process by which gas molecules hit the liquid, lose kinetic energy, and get stuck in the liquid. Now these two processes occur naturally at the surface of a liquid. Suppose I take a liquid and I examine the surface of that liquid. What I will see is a line of molecules connected together by intermolecular bonds or non-covalent bonds. Now if I somehow increase the kinetic energy of these molecules, what will happen? Well, if one of these molecules gains enough kinetic energy, that energy will be able to overcome the energy due to the bonding, and this will allow the molecule to escape in, in, into the space above. So, that means if I somehow uh, increase the kinetic energy of this system, evaporation will occur. And if I let them evaporate, and then I open, I should hear a hissing sound. So, let's try to increase the kinetic energy of this system by shaking it. If I shake this, a lot of the molecules found on the surface and within will gain enough kinetic energy, will escape into the gas state. And if right then I open this, I should hear the gas molecules escaping, so I should hear a hissing sound. So let's try. I should shake this. And that hissing sound was because of the escaping molecules. So I shook it, I increased kinetic energy, a lot of the molecules escaped into this space here. When I opened it, it evaporated. And the hissing sound was due to the evaporation. Now, uh, another way of that water can be represented is this way. H2O in a liquid state evaporates into H2O in a gas state. And H2O in a gas state condenses into H2O in a liquid state. Now, in a closed container, eventually, if I leave this alone, this will uh, form dynamic equilibrium, or it will achieve dynamic equilibrium. And what that simply means is the rate at which the molecules are evaporating is equal to the rate at which they are condensing. And so the volume at that point will remain the same. So why is it that uh, puddles found outside evaporate completely? All the water eventually goes away. Well, why is that? If eventually the water molecules found in the puddle should be in dynamic equilibrium with the gas molecules above. Well, the answer is that's because this system is not a closed system. It's, a, it's an open system, and molecules are allowed to leave. For example, suppose that a dynamic equilibrium is reached, and so we have a bunch of water molecules above, floating above. Now, uh, wind, for example, can blow these molecules away. And if it blows the molecules away, these guys will go away. And so our H2O in the gas state will decrease. And this will shift the equilibrium this way. So these guys will continue to evaporate. The wind will continue blowing them away. And eventually, every single molecule will evaporate. Now, Let's look at the boiling, or the boiling point. The boiling point is the temperature at which the molecules in the liquid gain enough kinetic energy. And now I'm not only talking about the molecules on the surface of the water. Now I'm talking all the molecules found within the entire system gain enough kinetic energy. So when you boil something, you see bubbles forming from the inside that travel to the up, or to the outside. And that's because uh, those molecules found inside gain enough kinetic energy, they become gas molecules, and they travel up. The boiling point is also the point at which vapor pressure created by the liquid is equal to or greater than the total uh, pressure found above the system, so the atmospheric pressure. So, for example, suppose this is our system and this is our, our, um, our vapor pressure created by the system. And this is our vapor or our pressure, our atmospheric pressure. Now if our atmospheric pressure is greater than our vapor pressure created by a liquid, 
The vapor pressure will not allow these molecules to escape. They will push down on them. However, if the two pressures are equal, or if this pressure is greater, these molecules will be able to fly out. And this is called the boiling point, or simply boiling.